What's up, Hoopers? It's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball, and in today's video, we're going to talk a little defense and how to defend taller and stronger players. Follow me, and let's lock down. All right, now, before we start talking about a little defense, I need you, if you want a free workout, if you want a free workout, to click that link in the first line of the description. It's going to send you straight to our website. Once you get there, don't forget to enter your email address so you can get your free workout sent straight to that email inbox. Now, we're going to talk about three different things to help you defend a taller and stronger offensive player. Number one, if I'm guarding somebody who's bigger and taller and stronger than I am, I've got to crowd them, especially on the perimeter. I want to make sure that I'm into them and I've taken up their space because if you give them space, now you've given up too much gap where now they can dribble at you, put their back on you and just back you down. But if you're crowding them and you're into them with your hands active, you're pressuring them, you're pressuring them, most of the time somebody like that is not going to be able to dribble the basketball. So if you can crowd into them and really disrupt what they're trying to do, really speed them up, then that's your advantage. And that leads me to my second point. The second point, you want to use your speed to your advantage. So most of the time if somebody's bigger, taller, and stronger than you, they may not always be faster. So you've got to use your speed. So like, that, like I just said, disrupting, speeding them up. Use your hands, be active. You know, deny their passes so they can't get a catch. Really push them and make them work. And if you can push them out farther away from the three-point line, then you've done your job. But if you've got to use that speed to your advantage, anytime they try to dribble the basketball, use your speed, steal it. Try to get disrupt them again. That is becoming a common theme. You want to try to speed a bigger and taller player up to really get them out of their comfort zone. If you're letting them just sit there and be comfortable as a player, you haven't done your job defensively. And the last point, beat them to their spots. So if somebody's trying to drive on you, you've got to beat them there. You've got to beat them to your spot, to their spot. That starts with crowding the ball, the first point we talked about, and using your speed, the second point. So if somebody's dribbling, I know I've got to turn and I've got to beat them to that spot. Or I've got to turn and I've got to beat them to that spot. That's going to make your job and your teammates' job so much easier. Crowd the ball, especially for somebody that's bigger than you. Get into them. Disrupt them. Number two, use your speed to your advantage. And number three, beat them to their spots. If they're trying to drive, you beat them, you cut them off, you take a charge, you get that momentum. You get yourself hyped. Because I promise you, defense is just as fun as offense. Because defense leads to offense. And I promise you this, defense wins championships. Now before I let you go, there's just a couple more things. You're going to be put in situations like we just talked about. You may be an undersized guard. You may be a bigger wing, but when you're going up against even bigger wings, you're going to be put in situations, what we call mismatches, where you're going to have to adjust and really help contribute to your team on the defensive end. You may play in an older league where you're two or three years younger than the guys that you're playing against or the players that you're playing against. So you've got to be able to adjust and use these three helpful tips really to push yourself on the defensive end and be a helpful and great defensive player when you're playing against um, taller and stronger players. So really just think about these few things because don't worry, don't let it defeat you. Keep your confidence high because you can become a lockdown defender no matter who you're guarding, whether it's a center, whether it's a point guard, whether it's a big wing, whatever it is, you've got to be able to play D and these helpful tips will help you do just that. Now before I let you go, hit that subscribe button for me. Join the Think Pro family. Every week we release brand new videos that will help you enhance your game as a basketball player. And don't forget, if you want that free workout, go ahead, just click the link. It's in the first line of the description. It's going to send you straight to our website. And once you get there, don't forget to enter your email address so we can send that free workout to you today. Now get out there. Just think about this. These are hard things that you're going to be able to drill. But you get into that game situation and somebody's bigger than you and taller and stronger than you, you lock them down. You buckle down. You get that confidence going and you tell them, yeah, I'm locking you down. You're not getting no points today. Have that mindset because it's going to help you and make you a great defensive player. So until I see you again, get out there, shut somebody down, put them on locks, put them in jail, and then remember to always keep hooping.